hey guys what's up and welcome back to a brand new video so hope you guys are having an amazing day so guys back again with a car related video for you guys so guys in this video i'll be showing you how to reset your car's ecu so the car in front of you guys is the dad suterios and the problem with this car is the obd2 protocol of this car is very different as compared to the competition so due to which every time i would like to reset the computer i would really have to go to the dealership and they would cost uh, a lot of money to do that and recently i had a problem with uh, like um, the map sensor of this car due to which i was trying a couple of different map sensors and i would really have to reset the computer again and again and like the dealership option was getting way out of my budget so uh, i read on a forum that you can reset your car's ecu without using the obd2 scanner there's a very neat kind of trick which i would like to share with you guys but before telling you how to do it first i would really like to say is if your car has like electronic throttle body or electronic gear i wouldn't recommend you to try this method because this can make your car reset the transmission due to which you could face a shifting problem like your car won't shift properly this is especially co common in most uh, korean cars such as hyundai kias and etc and also if your car is having electronic throttle body uh, this can also cause a problem where your car will forget uh, at what uh, kind of rpm to idle properly because my car doesn't have electronic throttle body nor it has electronic gear so i can try this method without any kind of tension so the first thing you want to do is you want to pop the hood of your car and you want to disconnect the battery both the positive and the negative so when you are going to disconnect the battery it's going to partially reset your car's ecu but if you want to do a hard type of reset the thing you want to do is you want to join both the terminals the positive and the negative together now you don't want to do it uh, when it's uh, mounted on the battery first you want to disconnect both the positive and the negative terminals you want to move it away from the battery terminals then you want to join them them because my cables are kind of long so i can really touch them if in your car they are kind of far away you can use uh, something like a metal screwdriver or you can use a wire in order to connect them together so the thing you want to do is you want to touch both the positive and the negative terminals together for like 15 seconds or more the, what this is going to do is it will discharge all the capacitors in from the ecu of your car and basically hard reset the ecu of your car because this was kind of a problem which i was also facing where i did replace a certain part but still the car was uh, the ecu was telling again and again that the part is still faulty but after trying this method it worked so nicely for me even i try i think i have tried this more than 10 to 15 times on my car and it works every time so that's why i decided to share it with you guys so you can really uh, connect the battery again um, on your car after like i will say 15 to 20 minutes don't do it too quickly you just want to wait for some time make sure uh, your ecu discharges ni nicely and hopefully this is going to fix your problem so that i think that's it for this video if you like the video make sure to give it a like and if you're new consider subscribing and become a part of this channel and thanks for watching and goodbye